so we studied the palki we designed the palki for ajanta and then we put up in our tech fest 2014 exhibition the scientific advisor to the prime minister was visiting our exhibition and he saw our ajanta palki he said this looks lightweight and this looks good see i was uh, visiting uh, jammu and kashmir and i had a meeting with um, governor n n ora and he mentioned that uh, there are palki bearers who have to carry the pilgrims and uh, it's a very very difficult uh, job of, for them because the palki is quite uh, heavy and also the pilgrims are sometimes quite heavy i knew about your center for uh, uh, innovation and design and uh, you had told me that uh, you had designed a palki for tourists to ajanta and then i said can you redesign this palki for the vaishno devi pilgrims that's how the project uh, started we got a requirement from vaishno devi the governor of jammu was very concerned about the porter's plight because it is very hardious route very long route 14.5 kilometers they take pilgrims so in this situation he said why don't you work on the palki you know from our study of innovation you know the context is critical the comprehension is critical so we clearly knew that this particular palki which is for ajanta will not work for vaishnav devi we must know that you know the context are different the people are different the terrain is different so we started work on the uh, vaishnav devi palki we visited vaishnav devi we went over there and we checked how they carry the people you saw in ajanta four guys were standing two people standing next to each other in the vaishnav devi shrine they are actually standing one behind the other there are number of reasons for this and we'll uh, understand why this is you know so critical for them and then they also have very interesting camaraderie they are together as a group four of them they know each other very well they uh, they plan their trip uh, you know very effectively long journey it's very strenuous it's 14.5 kilometers it takes 3 and a half hours to reach and you're carrying loads as high as 80 to 140 kilos sometimes elderly can go up till 140 160 and they can't say no to anybody they've been on this job for a number of years you know their children are doing it their parents did it so it's a it's a legacy they know how to handle their situations i like to quickly show you a small video you saw how the porter actually was moving the load is very heavy the keep you know shifting from one shoulder to another and with that shifting they actually distribute the load among themselves and they also in sequence once the first person shifts the load the second person shifts the load on the other and then the third and then the fourth they have a very good sequence and a good understanding on how this can go forward so we visited with our team of designers we visited the uh, shrine we looked at how you know the porters are working and what are these you know uh, livelihood opportunities we also went to their uh, villages nearly 1000 to 1500 porters are there in katra region in jammu and all of them their livelihoods are dependent only on this job so there was a motorable road which was which was done and they were planning to procure electric vehicles for the motorable road and then there was a big strike where some 1500 of these people went to the governor and said you know you're killing our children we will we'll lose our livelihood and we'll go hungry so it's a very interesting social realm so now tell me do you let this happen because the porters really have musculoskeletal problems so do you improve this or you completely eliminate this is a question we need to ask ourselves some of my students said sir you shouldn't work on such a project because you know it's really bad for the porters to carry so much load whereas another school of thought is make the palki lighter Another school of thought will say, no, no, this should not. We should put a ropeway. You should put an electric vehicle on the road, and you must not make people go through this hardship. So, what stand will you take in this class? Yeah. Ask the people in Tamil the porters and Sagar to what would they prefer? That's a very good question, and they surely prefer to use the palki because for them it is second nature. But if they don't know what are the possibilities. they would like to continue with the way of life that they know
That's also a good point. But they know the possibilities. If you have a motorable road, people will not use the palki anymore. Their possibility from their side is that they are going to be losing their job. That exactly. They don't know that maybe they could be actually working with a particular system or something okay. of the sort where they they, they could be getting jobs. You're right. It's possible. If I if I was at the Ministry of Social Justice, I would see to that when I implement a motorable road, all these thousand five hundred people will get some jobs. So the whole aspect is this: there are multi-level users for the palki. Do you take care of the porters? Do you take care of the pilgrims? Do you look at the shrine board? And then, you know, there were local vendors who were manufacturing this for them. Shrine board organized all this very effectively, saying that you have to be disciplined in this activity, there should be no accidents. So how do you weave all these people together in your, you know, study is a very important uh, aspect.